Do you think they would have known something long before they started making announcements about it? Passengers at Orlando International Airport just learning that the reserve jet fuel supply at the airport is running low and it could affect some flights. We need that jet fuel. I mean, we're going clear to Oregon, so hopefully they get those tanks full before they get here. Orlando International Airport tweeting over the weekend, partly blaming weather issues along the Gulf Coast, saying that prevented reserve supply delivery of jet fuel at MCO. An airport's spokesperson giving some perspective, saying this is one of the nation's busiest airports with more than 1,000 aircraft operations daily. So, quote, the amount of jet fuel needed daily at MCO is greater than most airports require. Both the delay in fuel for reserves and the volume of flights have impacted the reserve supply, end quote. Captain Shem Malquest is a visiting professor at Florida Tech. The supply chain is pretty tightly wound. You know, they go through a lot of fuel very quickly and they can only keep a certain amount on hand. And if something happens to disrupt that, in this case, apparently weather in the Gulf, they only have a finite amount of reserves before it starts getting to a potentially critical state. For now, airlines are being asked to have their pilots carry heavier loads of fuel coming into Orlando, which MomQuest says is inconvenient for the airlines. And so if anything, the airlines would rather be buying the fuel in Orlando and carrying it to other places, as we call it tankering, than having to bring extra fuel into Orlando. As you look up the arrivals and departures board here at Orlando International Airport, you will see a couple of delays sprinkled throughout both the arrival side and the departure side. I've asked airport officials if any of this has to do with that fuel shortage, and they tell me at this time, no. They also tell me that they are in the process of using tanker trucks to bring in some fuel here and that they're hoping to be back up to their regular supply later this week. For now, reporting live at the Orlando International Airport, Holly Bristow, Fox 35 News. 